I'm Amanda Sparrow Large T and I'm married to the spirit of a 300 year old pirate. When we retire, this is Jack's side of the bed and like most couples, it's a matter of just falling into bed and going to sleep most nights. Spiritual sex is all about being able to feel the energy. It's nothing to do with masturbation. So although it can be tried at any position, missionary position is probably the best to start with as it's easy to feel the weight and take it from there. Jack was an experienced lover when he was alive. So although he's dead now, that hasn't changed. I'm no expert, but he's definitely the best lover I've had. None of my children follow the same spiritual path as me, but they're quite used to me communicating with spirit. We have my mother's chair, my son's table, and my dog Toby, who are all also in spirit. So having Jack around is just having another spirit around the place. He's quite protective towards my children, in a guardian angel kind of way, particularly towards my youngest child. Although spirit can't eat or drink, they can still experience the sensation. Jack likes Indian food, he also likes um, Caribbean food, but you don't get much of that around here. And of course, when I cook, he's definitely not going to get anything like that, so it's more likely that he's going to get stew. But seeing as I'm not terribly good at cooking, it's probably just as well he's already dead. Since this story went viral, I've been asked to ask Jack a few questions. This here is an EMF meter. It's what paranormal investigators use to detect the presence of spirit energy. Okay, Jack, could you confirm that you're here by moving the EMF meter, please? One question that I was asked is that why did Jack pick me above all the other women that he had met over the years? So, Jack, if you would like to answer that for me right now. Okay, so he says that although I can be dominant and difficult, that I'm also very loyal and that I would fight to the death for anybody that I care about. He says that it's a great privilege for anyone in spirit to be able to have a relationship with someone who is in the physical right now and that there are not many that are prepared to do it. But I was. Another question that I've been asked to ask you, Jack, is that how do I compare to the women of the 1700s? He says that a man will always appreciate a beautiful woman no matter what century she's from, but that he never found love in his own time and it was something that he regretted deeply. The most experience that he had with women in his own life was the women from the brothels. He said that he's glad that I have an appreciation and a respect for the traditions and the values from his era. And that he also tries to do the same for those of mine.